reaction from the PPI data released locally and also the China manufacturing numbers? It was a very, very quiet day today. As mentioned, volumes were very low, only about 2.7 billion traded. And as Michael was just talking about, we're right at the top of the band there uh, that we've been trading within. And we would certainly like to see a bit of volume if we are going to break out higher. Some, some actual trading volume behind that, would, behind that would be very nice to see. Uh, I suppose the market was just looking at those two pieces of information today, the PPI and the Chinese PMI. The PPI coming in well below expectations, uh, which bodes well for rate cuts next month. Um, it, it doesn't have a direct link to CPI, which is, uh, which is released tomorrow, which is the key release for the RBA. But um, it does indicate that uh, those prices are, are quite low at the moment. I mean, and the CPI probably will come in uh, around that half a percent level. Uh, and it probably more likely after this print to come in lower than expected rather than higher than expected. Uh, we saw a bit of a drop off in the Aussie dollar when they did release that data. Um, the HSBC PMI read today, that came in at 49.1. Now, uh, apparently the, the release, the people that released this study say a, a read above 48 indicates that industrial output's at a level uh, consistent with about uh, above 8% GDP growth. So even that figure of below 50 at the moment, there's a lot of talk, we're below 50 in that contraction phase. Uh, this does indicate economic growth above 8%, which is still very strong. And we could even see high economic growth from China moving forward today. But the Aussie market looked like we were expecting a number around that 49 level as there wasn't all that much of a reaction. There's uh, not great news for Origin out today with a, a big increase in costs for its Bass Gas project. But is the overall demand picture still looking strong then, given what James is saying? Well, Origin dropped about one and a quarter percent today. We saw uh, the costs are going to blow up by about $100 million on the upgrade of their Bass Gas project, which they own 42% of. AWE owns 46% of this project. Uh, now, Origin are starting up construction of their $20 billion gas export joint venture up in Queensland, that AP LNG project. Uh, now, whenever we see sort of cost blowouts or increasing costs on these kinds of projects the market really doesn't like it and usually re uh, reacts quite negatively as we saw today with origin energy even though it's only a part of their business uh, so origin has been a bit of an underperformer over the past year or so um, it compared to the broader market and compared to sort of comparable companies within uh, within the index uh, bell potters noted that the actual breakup value of origin energy is actually greater than its share price in the market at the moment and if you look at it compared to the the ASX 200 uh, Santos or AGL energy it's significantly underperformed all of those over the last year uh, it's really not rallied at all with the ASX over the last few months since December last year when since we have been seeing that recovery in the market um, origin uh, it does have that utility business um, it is lower risk than some of the other energy sector type uh, businesses. Uh, its earnings outlook is quite strong over the next few years. Should see earnings growth for Origin sort of above 20 percent and then from 2015 onwards over the next few years there it could well increase even further as they have a couple more uh, LNG projects that are due to come online. But um, the AP LNG this will be a big driver for Origin moving forward. Uh, if that can remain on time and on budget their part stake in that business could significantly increase in value. Uh, but recent performance has seen um, Origin Energy share uh, quite low really uh, in a relative sense and um, this may well present a good entry point to the stock for some investors.